So in this video, we're going to be looking at the iCarsoft VOS version 2.0 or VAWS version 2.0. It's a multi-system scan tool for VW, Audi, Seat and Skoda cars. And we're really going to be looking at everything you need to know, all the top 21 questions about this tool before you actually go ahead and buy it. So let's get into the vehicle and start the review. So I guess one of the first questions you could ask is, what is the VOS version 2.0 kit? Uh, the VOS ver version 2.0 kit is a diagnostic scan tool which will allow you to hook up to the main systems of the vehicle and actually diagnose and reset any faults that may be occurring. So if you've got a warning light on your dashboard or your car's not running right or like it should be, this tool will basically give the answer as to why the car's not running right. Gives you the information you need to uh, fix the fault and then ultimately reset the fault and reset the warning lights. So where can you buy this tool? Well, if you want to go for a genuine product, uh, we'll put the links in the description below this video to the genuine products. Uh, two places, first being Diagnostic World, the second place being Amazon. Uh, generally, you're going to get a more um, personal approach and a personal service from Diagnostic World because they will offer with help and support as well. Uh, with Amazon, they, you don't really get that. But ultimately, there are fakes and there are clones on the market. So I, I want, what I want you to do is make sure you get a genuine product. So buy by going through Diagnostic World or Amazon in the links below that will ensure you get a genuine product. How much is the tool? On Diagnostic World right now it's about £149 I believe. Uh, Amazon I think you'll probably pay about the same. Uh, but prices are subject to change so you know if you're watching this video two months down the line or six months down the line the prices may well have changed. Uh, it's not a wireless unit. You do require to uh, hook this cable up and connect this cable to the top of the unit in order to gain power to the unit. The only other way you can put power into this unit is by connecting a USB cable right there and that will give you access to the menu system. Uh, but it doesn't come with battery terminals where you can plug a battery in. Uh, what manufacturers are covered? Well, what I'm going to do first of all is just click the buzzer, click off and then go to Diagnostics and we see four options VW, Audi, Seat and Skoda so those are the main four manufacturers that it will cover uh, what systems are covered? Well, it all depends on the vehicle itself, the vehicle that you're sitting in. Uh, but for this, the purpose of this video, what I'll do is I'll just connect to VW. That's what we're in right. It's a VW Polo that we're in right now. And we go System Selection. It's going to manually select the system and it's potentially giving us 137 systems to diagnose to. Now, it won't connect to all of these because all of these systems are not installed into this vehicle. But the systems which are installed into this vehicle, this tool should allow you to uh, diagnose them. So I'm going to scroll through the menu uh, just so you've got an idea of which two systems are actually covered. And I'll run through pretty quickly actually because there's 137 to get through. So. Uh, just try and keep the video as short as possible. But if you do want to look at any of these pages in any greater detail, then obviously you have the option to just pause the video and take a closer look. Okay, so we're coming to the end now. And then we're back to the start. Uh, what special functions or service functions does it include? So if we go back to the main menu and we go to the service option, we click enter. So this will give us oil, oil reset, electronic park and brake, new battery registration, electronic throttle control, steering angle sensor and DPF. There is an update on this tool which will add injector coding and uh, ABS brake bleeding. This tool just needs a bit of an update. So once you've updated it, uh, which is free by the way, you can. they will add two options here as well. But these are ultimately the special functions. Uh, elect oil, oil service reset, electronic park and brake, new battery registration, electronic throttle calibration, steering angle sensor reset and calibration, and DPF regeneration. It's important to know though that just because this tool has DPF function doesn't necessarily mean that it works on every single vehicle with a DPF. The best thing to do is contact the guys at Diagnostic World and they will check for you to make sure that this tool does do DPF or any of these other services 
on your specific vehicle. I'd hate for you to actually receive the tool and realize, well, it doesn't work, so you need to return it for a refund. It's better to get the information before you buy it and, um, and rather than being disappointed when you receive it. Um, so what information does it uh, give when a fault occurs? So we've got two faults here. We've got an engine light and an airbag light. And I'm going to show you that right now. So we're going to click into our vehicle again. I'm going to go system selection, manually select the system. I'm going to scroll down to the airbag system first of all. And this will give you an idea of what to expect on screen. So we're just initializing. And then we go to read fault code. So we've got one of one fault right there. We've got B100, B1B, driver, thorax, airbag, igniter, resistance too high. Uh, if you weren't exactly sure what the information, not just this, but the information in general meant, uh, copy it into or write it down, put it into your Google search engine because if you've got this fault, I can guarantee that somebody else will have had this fault as well. And the answers will all be online. They're generally posted in forums. Uh, your, your Google search will bring up all of these searches and it'll show you how people have fixed them as well. Generally, you probably need to put like a new piece of wiring in or a new sensor. That's generally the reasons for uh, the airbag faults. But that's the information you'll get. And when you fix the fault, say like some example, you put a new sensor in, just go clear fault memory. When I click enter here, just keep an eye on the airbag light. And that's gone off, no problem. We triggered this fault itself. So we simply unclipped uh, a connection underneath the driver's seat. Then we put it back in. That's how we've been able to clear it because we know that the, uh, the fault is, is not genuine. And the same applies really to the engine system. So you'll notice we've got the check engine light on there. And we're gonna go through and connect to this as well. I do find though that these tools um, sometimes do take a little bit longer to connect to the engine system. I think you're generally waiting around about 20 seconds. So if, it, if you get this screen for any long period of time, don't worry about it, it's, it is normal. It's been doing it for years on no matter what vehicle you try it on. Well, actually that's a lie because some, some vehicles it will connect straight away, but I just don't know why it takes longer on others. Uh, so we go to read fault code. And this time we've got two fault codes. So that's the first one, that's the second one. Again, we triggered this fault just by pulling a MAF sensor. Uh, and again, if you don't know what the fault is, what it means, put it into Google, the answer will be there. Uh, clear fault memory again, keep an eye on the check engine light. That's gone as well. Uh, is it a touch screen? No, it's not. It is common to think that uh, because of the layout of the screen, it looks like it's app based, but it's not. It's not a touch screen. You do need to use the buttons on the side to actually navigate through the menu. Uh, updates for this tool. How much are the updates? Updates are free for life. To making sure, obviously, and you know, that you get a, a genuine unit. If you get a genuine unit, you'll always get free updates for life. If you were to get pick up a, a fake or a clone unit. Um, and they do exist, unfortunately, then, you know, these guys are con artists, you know, they're, they're only out to make money, and they will charge you for updates. So if you want to make sure you get free updates for life, go through one of the links in the description below this video. That's all I'll say on that subject. It's entirely up to you what you do, but it's, it's, uh, that's my, my personal advice. Um, how to update? Well, the updates need to take place via a Windows operating system. In the box, you'll get all of the instructions on how to do this. Very easy to do, just download a quick software package, uh, but the instructions are all there, as I say. Unfortunately, you can't do it on a Mac or Apple unit. You need a Windows operating system to do updates on this tool. Uh, how does it compare to the Vos version 1.0? So you may notice that this is the 1.0, this is the 2.0. Um, the 2.0 will be will basically do everything that the 1.0 will do. The 2.0 is more expensive. Uh, you can see this is about 149 pounds. This is 99 pounds. The reason for the difference is because if we go to the service menu, on the 1.0, the only one you get is the oil reset. For the 2.0, you get the electronic parking brake, battery, throttle, 
uh, steel angle sensor DPF and then of course when the updates goes into this tool it's uh, injector coding and ABS brake bleeding as well so that you're really paying extra for these special functions here if you only need to reset a check engine light or an airbag light then you know maybe no reason that you, you need to look any further than the 1.0 I'll put links to both of these kits in the description below this video actually so you can maybe take a closer look at both of them um, where can you get help and support if you go through Diagnostic World just they'll give you quick links to the iCarsoft engineers if you go through Amazon then not too sure uh, they may just ask you to, to return for a refund if you haven't got uh, if, if, they ha if there is a problem they won't they won't look into it they won't try and solve it they'll just ask you to, to return it the difference between Amazon and Diagnostic World is that Diagnostic World have quick links to the iCarsoft engineers who will actually spend time trying to resolve a problem for you um, can it print faults? Yes, it can print faults, but it's not an easy way. You've got to record data, you've got to remove the SD card, put the SD card into your laptop or PC, and then download the data. It's not an easy or streamlined way of printing anything. Um, it can be done, but I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, languages, we go to setup. Language, we've got English, German, Dutch, French, and Spanish. Uh, box instructions, what's in the box? Let me show you. Uh, box here. So this is the box here. And we just open it up. We've got a nice carry pouch there. With a zip. Inside here you will get an owner's manual, user's manual showing you how to do updates and things like that. In this side here you'll get your USB cable and your power cable, your main unit power cable. And that's all you get in the box. That's all you need really. Because everything is in here. Um, is it easy to use? Well you've, you've saw me basically navigating through. It's very easy to use. Uh, you can't do any damage to the tool, you can't do any damage to the vehicle when actually hooking this up, so the answer is yes. Uh, would I recommend it to somebody with no experience? Absolutely, again, doesn't matter whether you've got 40 years worth of experience or 4 minutes worth of experience, the tool will work exactly the same for a newbie as it will for someone with a lot of experience. Uh, so give it a go, don't worry about um, you know being in too deep or anything you can't go in too deep it's a, such a simple system to use uh, what about the other menu icons well we've covered these two uh, if we go to voltage it gives you live battery data and the minimums and maximums um, if you've got say another vehicle in your family like a bmw or a mercedes this option here allows you to diagnose engine faults uh, you can in this one you can review any data that you've recorded uh, you can DTC lookup will allow you to look up the uh, official fault code descriptions for any particular code that you put in. Uh, the setup, uh, language, me unit of measure, uh, beep noise when you press a button which I find quite annoying. Uh, data log, clear the data and a factory reset. Help gives you information on these three topics. And about gives you the software and firmware version information which is currently installed onto the tool. Uh, does it double up as a tablet is a common question. No, it doesn't double up as a tablet. The only reason you can use this tool is to diagnose faults and hook it up to your vehicle. You can't put uh, any apps on or anything like that. And how fast is delivery? Generally one or two working days. That's the same for Diagnostic World as it is for Amazon as well. So uh, I appreciate we've, we've had a lot to get through there. We've ran through as much as we can. Uh, but as I say, in the links in the description below this video, I will put links to both of these products. Uh, um, and I hope you maybe if you are looking to buy this tool or a similar tool, it's it's giving you the answers you need to your questions. Um, we try to get through as much as possible, as I say. But uh, anyway, I hope it helps. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video.